Stan! Stan, 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 here we are in a man cave. When is a German helmet not a German helmet? When it is a M32, M42. Well, not any old M42. Well, it is a Spanish M42, just like what this is. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to go and get the other one, Anna. I've got another one in here. Give me a second. Quick, quick video again today. Not too much mucking around with Stan today. There you go. Right. I have to say, they do feel different. So there is the other one. So I have got another video on there of these. They look the same size now they're alongside each other. Are they really? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. So, the Spanish M42, otherwise known as the Modelo Z, first issued in 1943. So it is a World War II helmet. It was modelled entirely on the German M40, not the M42, apparently. But it has a raw edge to simplify uh, production. It isn't made of um, the best quality. So you, you, you actually, well, it's lower quality. And the rivet layout is different from a German World War II helmet. I don't have a German World War II helmet at hand. But there's a rivet there, rivet there, rivet at the back. So if you can see here, there's a rivet, rivet, a rivet, another rivet. There's too many rivets on there for it to be a German helmet, so that, that's the difference. If you get all of that helmet, squeeze it together gently, you can see a bit of movement. So it is lesser lesser quality than um, the German World War II. The, the liner in that one, that's a World War II era one, is the liner is at the, the pad design is sort of like your more like your German First World War helmets, earlier Spanish helmet uh, liner pads. There should be, or there could be, on the front, the emblem of the Earth Army badge, which was like a crucifix with a, some sort of bird on it. I'm not quite sure what it is. And also other branches could wear their own version of a badge. Like the Civil Guard had something they would slot into here. See that? It would sit into there. And that would have the, that was for parades and ceremonies. Uh, the Civil Guard would have these painted in, in grey. So it was modified in the 1970s. Now I don't know whether this is actually a World War II shell and it's been modified. If you look inside, they look both the same from the outside. Now obviously somebody has been using this possibly for reenacting the decal on there and the decal on there. I didn't take them off, they were already off. But when you look at the liners, there you go, there's your, your three pad liner. I can get it on my great big stupid head but the liner's a bit knackered here to come away. I might put a little patch on there, I might glue it, I might just leave it, I might be wearing it all the time. And the liner on here, you can see, is very different. It's more like a riddle style liner type of thing, like a suspension cage. And that was done in the 1970s. Whether, I say, this was converted from a World War II one or not, I'm not sure. It does have some minor soldier graffiti in the World War II version. And you can see the colour, it's exactly the same, yeah. Now, so... Uh, personally, are these worth collecting? You can see there's dints in the shell of that one. Not not so much with this one. I do, I do like them. I do like, obviously now my collection, I have got a few um, really decent helmets, German World War II ones and some other items that are real serious collectors collect. But you wouldn't have an AMI steel helmet stand unless you collected steel helmets generally. I, I just like collecting them. I fully plan, when the weather's a bit better, to do a video on my German helmets that aren't German helmets because I've got a few of them including the repros so what am I going to do with this well it was advertised as a German reproduction helmet which obviously it isn't uh, and I paid £41 for it with some um, postage so less than 50 quid I think less than 50 quid you, you, you're always doing all right I mean, this, this weekend I was supposed to do a three helmet video because I've got another West German M62, which I got for 20 quid. 20 quid's the, the bargain basement for helmets. Uh, but the eBay person's been a bit... It's on its way, but they're behind times. I don't put negative feedback back unless I don't get the item, because I think there's no point. So that's hopefully coming Monday. Take a breath, Stan. What are you going to do with it? Well, I'm quite pleased to get that for less than 50 quid, because you do see them going for more. It is a genuine piece of history. World War II, neutral Spain. They used them all the way through... Till the 80s, I believe. They might even use them still on ceremonial purposes. Now, my initial plan was see if I could get some green that matched. Uh, there is companies that do sell 
uh, World War Two camouflage paints. And if you go to a military show, there's there was one in Sedgefield last year, was it last year, the year before, and there was one stall just selling all the different DDR greens and you know all all the colours you could want. Whether they'd make a Spanish khaki green, I'm not sure. Oh, this helmet in its later life would have a plain khaki colour on. Later on, it had a, a cover on it, helmet cover called the Amoeba. Um, I was going to spray it green. Then I thought, well, what about if I get some thinners and just gently, gently take take the paint off? I thought about doing that. Then I thought to myself, you know something? For the time period, for the time being, time period, time being, what I might do is get the SS cover off this this mannequin here i'm going to try it actually as soon as i hold up from this get the ss cover off this one and put it on uh, that one and then hey presto i've got a german helmet to go on my mannequin under here is the reproduction one with the uh, nationals called uh, tricolor shield and the, the eagle swastika on the other side that could go and display on its own right maybe that's the plan so there you go my repro the Spanish M42 Modelo Z with original liner and a bit of, you're not going to see it in this light. There's a bit of soldier graffitiism going on there, but, and Baz or Taz. I can't see it with a naked eye. There is no stamps on this helmet that I can see. So, yeah, and that's the M42 70 now, which I've already done a video on, belonging to Captain Bueno of the artillery. So... That's me chittering on, and that's my videos for the weekend, I think. Why is it doing that? That's it. Focus on the item. And it's still seven minutes to me, and that's a quick video for me. So this is Stan, and I will see ya.